All right, let's uh, let's get it going here. Paint yeah, let's get some paint going on here. All right, if I can. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's get some painting painting music here. Not enough light for everyone to see, but we'll just have to go with that. Okay, so uh, just kind of kind of make make the moves here, guys, uh, and that's exactly what we're doing. Let's put a little top here for the bun. Okay. And then another bun down on the bottom here. Oh, I gotta go lower here, I think. And then let's just kind of sense, uh, get a sense of what we're doing here. Let's get the get the face going on here, if we can, or or we can. What what part of uh, Los Angeles are you guys uh, camped out at? We're in Hollywood. Hollywood, nice. So you guys checked out the Hawaka Stars and all that. I didn't see your name on it. Well, uh, <laughs> not yet. It'll come. One day, one day. <laughs> All right. So, you, what else did you do here in Los Angeles or Hollywood? Any any other exciting things? Well, we just got here yesterday. Oh, you just got here yesterday. We That's were right. San Diego before that. Oh, okay, San Diego. Did you go like Marine Land and stuff? Uh, well, we just stopped in Old Town before we came to Los Angeles. Oh, oh wow. Laguna Beach. Oh, Beach. You, did you go to Laguna Beach? Laguna Beach is kind of nice, but it's kind of rainy, right? Was it rainy? In the morning, it was nice. Yeah. Yeah, Laguna Beach, that's a nice little beachy place. But but you guys are from Orlando or Yeah? Now that's that's in, that's landlocked. You're not out by the ocean, are you? Nope. That's inside. But you guys, you know, Florida, you guys you know your you know your beaches. Yeah, we're pretty close to some beaches. So uh, how did it compare? Well it's it's winter time, so it's not a good we can't compare yet. It's much nicer because it has that nice rocky coast. Oh really? And you don't get that in uh, Fort Lauderdale, I mean uh, Orlando. We don't have any coast in Orlando, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> but up there, what, no, it's very, it's very flat. What, what what beach do you go to? Do you go to the west or because it looks like Orlando is in the middle of Florida, right? Yeah, the Clearwater beaches are nice. Clearwater is that a little bit north? It's by Tampa. Oh, Tampa. It's, yeah, Tampa. so it's just west. So that's on the the Gulf Coast. Yeah. yeah. The okay. Gulf, the water is real, real warm. Okay. It's lovely. It's like bath water. Nice. All right, That's, they, these are things we need to know. <laughs> I mean, Inquiring minds need to know. I made it out there actually to uh, uh, Dunedin. Dunedin. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did a performance there. Really? Yeah, at the, oh, uh, at cool. the cultural center. Yeah. Yeah, believe it or not, I know. I had always thought it was Dunedin. Well, no, Everyone look, I, me. no, no, I. I <laughs> Am I saying it right or no, not? No, you're saying it right. I have. I, I've well, because I was well versed, because I, I pronounced it enough times wrong, and uh, they just thought I was a hillbilly. Well, then they definitely thought I was kooky for for being there. But uh, yeah, it was fun. They they was nice enough to uh, be invited to come and perform at their uh, the art center there. That's really cool. Okay, so we're just kind of plopping it down here, getting kind of the the, the various elements of of Rebecca here on the show. You're, you're watching uh, Fast Food Paintings. Paintings of Fast Food at Fast Food Prices here, guys. I am Mr. Let's Paint. Give us a call, 818-528-4516. That's the number. We uh, John is actually playing music in the background. We got a, a full uh, a, a, a cornucopia of, of uh, possibilities uh, that are uh, henceforth uh, commencing commencing at the moment. That This song is kind of creepy, says Brad Zork. And... Uh, <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I can understand that that could be the case, but we can't let that get to us. We can't. We can't let uh, uh, feelings of despair take over, uh, unless, of course, you're watching like a, a, a monster movie or you know a very scary movie with with like a significant other. Then then it's kind of a good thing because then you get to hug and then eventually you know uh, get down and dirty later on, or, or just inside the movie theater itself. Or or uh, now that we're talking about it, you can do it right now. You can do it. Okay, uh, but in the privacy of your own home, guys, uh, the safety of your own. All right, so there, there's a, let me lower this shot here, because I think we can get a better, if I lowered it, with, at least horizontally, we could kind of see the uh, resemblance of the, of the two possibilities. Okay, <laughs> there, there she is. Uh, and, uh, check it. Okay, check it, check it. Okay, so, uh, and now, uh, now, now we're getting to the interview part here, Rachel. What what do you do? Uh, can we ask you that, or or is that sure? Okay. What what is, what is it that, that that you do? I am a neuropsychologist. What the hell is that? Neuropsychologist. Psychologist? Yes. yes. So I do um, testing and therapy for people with brain injury or neurodevelopmental disorders oh. or dementia and things like that. 
Oh man, wow. Uh, can you guys hear her? Or is that uh, is that not loud enough? Because I, I have this mic that maybe, well, if I put it over here, it'd be a little closer. Wow, neuro, neuro, neuro science. Neuropsychologist. Psychologist. So, so you're a doctor then? Yep. Holy cow. And now I'm going to be in a bun. A, a bun? Yeah. What's that? You're putting me in a bun. Oh, yes, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Neuro, well, you know, yeah, that's that's interesting stuff. I, I don't know uh, much, uh, too much about that, uh, that whole uh, stuff, but uh, it, that's an interesting thing. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, it, it, so do, do you mostly, so if it's science, you, you're doing a lot of testing and stuff. Right. And uh, it's not it's not your typical psychiatry or, or uh, where, where you're just interviewing people. You do a little of that then. Yeah, we do some of that and then we do like the actual testing to okay. build a fuller picture of kind of what's happening so we can come up with the right diagnoses and treatment. Yes, very good. Well, it's just en endless, the possibilities. Uh, and of course, the the brain, the mind is uh, pretty uh, pretty crazy, uh, and and uh, definitely hard to figure out sometimes. As uh, as we as we realize here, as I realize uh, doing this show with you guys every day, and uh, trying to explore, trying to open up my brain for you every day. Yeah, I, I always like that about your show. Is it's all about you know the positivity and the creativity, yeah. and regardless of what any other circumstances are, always you know pushing through and, and right. putting yourself out there. I love it. I think it's the best. Yeah, yeah. Well, how long have you been watching the show? Just out of curiosity. Um, I just discovered it a few months ago. Oh, okay, just a few months ago, and just right here on Stickham itself. Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, John's brother is the one who introduced us to it. Oh, Hi, cool. Daniel, if you're watching. Daniel, uh, <laughs> shout out to Daniel there. <laughs> Saw your YouTube videos for the old um, yeah, right. Show. Yeah, yeah. Because when people always contact me, I'm all, they're usually you know nine times out of ten it's it's from the old show, you know, because those were were produced uh, you know uh, better and uh, you know there's more uh, uh, effort was was put into it because of the the fact that you know it was a other people running the show and and all I had to do was just sort of you know do my do my thing and uh, but now you know as you can see I'm kind of juggling a bunch of things which is fine I'm, I'm fine with that uh, but you know there'll be another time where, where you work with other people uh, maybe uh, <laughs> uh, maybe not I don't know I'm gonna put some lettuce on top do, do you like lettuce on your burger there yeah lettuce is awesome okay let's get some lettuce on there and uh, so you like the works on your burger that's right all right well I, let's get you, some mushrooms and some tomato oh you want some well i got the tomato the mushrooms are kind of hidden i think we could they could be hidden in the hair that's what i was thinking they yeah, could yeah. be like hair uh hair uh, uh, on the mushroom so let's get little little doodads they could they look they might look like uh those little things that one would put on their hair. I don't know. What do you call those things? Uh, bracelets or barrettes? Barrettes. Barrettes. Yeah, mushroom barrettes. Mushroom barrettes. I think that should be the new that, rage. That that would be it. You, yeah, I think so. Well, I think you know you would wear mushroom barrettes, and then of course you would. I think you would have to still wear a, a hamburger bun hat. Yeah, definitely. And then strap one to my chin. Exactly. <laughs> like like a bun necklace. Or a choker. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you need. Uh, what should we put down there? Like, uh, I don't know, cheese. No. Yeah, yeah. Like cheese just oozing over it. <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta put the cheese on there. Yeah, definitely. I usually like definitely to put the cheese, cheese to put the cheese underneath the uh, the tomato because otherwise, if it goes over the the tomato itself, I, I like the cheese to kind of go over the you know over the uh, the meat part. And, and your head is, is kind of the meat part here. All right, yeah, so yeah. just have it flowing over, just oozing over, yeah. melted cheddar. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, scrumptious. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're just kind of putting down some stuff here. And is that like a private practice, or do you work for a uh, uh, an entity of some sort? Uh, we're in private practice. Private practice, sweet. So people are just like, hey man, I bump my head, I I feel awkward, and I'm you know I need maybe some guidance, or or, or you get referred to, or oh yeah, we, it's mostly referrals. Referrals are like, you know what, you probably need to get some neuroscience stuff going on. Yeah, they say there's something wrong with you. you see that? <laughs> We checked everything out. We've uh, done all our tests, and we, we're gonna have to go to a specialist now. A 
Okay, we got a little mayonnaise up there too. All right. Underneath the bun. I, I love putting mayonnaise on my burgers. I, I actually don't, but in terms of the painting, in my paintings, I like to put mayonnaise because it just seems to have the right uh, coloring uh, difference uh, differential. Yeah, it just adds a little zazz. It does. A little razzle dazzle. It does. So here we go. And that's the bottom of the bun, by the way. All right, we're taking your calls here, guys. We have uh, Rachel here. Rebecca. Uh, uh, Rebecca, thank you. And Howard Blueberry III. And, and Howard Blueberry the third here. Uh, and it's Monday. Uh, big week ahead. And, uh, or, or not. Uh, and so, uh, so thanks for being here. And give us a call, 818-528-4516. If you have questions about uh, neuro, neuroscience uh, or, or uh, psychiatry, uh, or, or, or you're not considered a psychiatrist. I'm not a psychiatrist that, or neuroscientist. But, but you're, you're, you're be, or neuropsychology. Neuropsychology. But, but it's a doctorate. Yes. Well, you can't say doctorate. That, or, well, that's for, a, I mean, that sounds like it's like a, uh, you There's know, rocket or something. Oh, yeah, you know? that would be fun, the yeah. doctorate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was kind of thinking. They got, like, trumpet and everything. Yeah, you're yeah. Like, it's the doctorate. The doctorates. Yeah. yeah. But, but, that would be fun. But you're not an MD, then? No, so oh, I see. It's doctorate of psychology. Okay. Uh, you know, they don't have a doctorate in painting. Uh, at least at least I don't think they do. And uh, But uh, I guess uh, that would be kind of fun to, to become a, a doctorate in uh, painting. Now, you have a lovely polka dot dress a blouse so let's try to capture some of that if you did if you were able to get a doctorate in, in painting or what would your big project be you know my big project would probably be uh, to uh, I, I could imagine yeah it'd be kind of like uh, being a uh, again my eagle scout and you know your eagle scout project right uh, my my dis dissertation right what would it be i guess it would be kind of i guess maybe i can imagine uh Jumping out of an airplane, uh, and no, no, uh, yeah, not from an airplane. But I think I could, I could see the big project I would do is, is I would be uh, dangling from a helicopter uh, just above the uh, Eiffel Tower, and 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 maybe paint the Alpha Eiffel Tower uh, pink or something. That would be rad. Uh, red, white, and blue, or you know. Yeah, yeah. I think I think you should call the French government and see if you can paint the. Yeah, because they the like Eiffel our Tower red, white, and blue. Yeah, and and ha yeah. Well, they that's their colors too. They like the red, white, and blue too. Yeah. So and and they love art. They love weird stuff. And uh, I think that would be kind of fun. Eiffel I think Tower. that'd be awesome. Uh, and I would just be hovering uh, over over it uh, and with just a little paintbrush, <laughs> you know, a paintbrush this yeah, size. Yeah, make sure you use a real tiny. Yeah, real. It will take forever. <laughs> that would be great. And you can uh, play I think, like the Mission Impossible theme while you do it. Yeah. It would be awesome. Yeah, it would just take forever. It would just be like an endless. Uh, yeah, an endless project. Yeah. I think it would be especially good if you put glitter on it too. On this painting. Well, oh well. Well, I don't have any glitter. Eiffel Tower. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. And and we could also have like uh, little Wi-Fi stations uh, somehow embedded in the paint so that when you put your iPad or iPhone next to it, it would like tell you like I would give you like a discussion about how, what I'm doing right now. Yeah, that would be rad. Yeah, yeah. We got to incorporate you know all that kind of gadgetry to it. All right, we're, uh, what, is, are, is it getting a little hot in here? I think, I've got to turn on the fan, if you don't mind. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it this way. It might get too cold for you guys. 818-528-4516. We have a live uh, model, a live guest. We have a studio guest in the room here, a uh, rare. Uh, we, we rarely uh, let uh, people in, in our uh, hidden quadrant. Uh, penetrated the fortress. But we, uh, but uh, sometimes people do get through. <laughs> and we have live musicians. But we, out. we vet everybody that, that when they come in here. We make sure that they are, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. All right. Uh, sometimes we take a chance, I guess is what it is. We won't kill you. Yeah. <laughs> 818-528-4516. Except for with kindness. <laughs> All right. Call in, people. Yeah, call in. Call in yeah, if you have a question for Rebecca. 
Yes. Okay. I, I see. You might need to do a test, maybe, of my brain. I, in fact, I've always thought about that, particularly when I run on the treadmill and do all the crazy, you know, all the and all, and multiple all the things. Fumes. Well, the paint fumes. Yeah. Well, we try to. I try to fan it out. Actually, I need to hook up those those guys, and they're not hooked up. Uh, but anyway. Uh, but I've always wanted to uh, hook up some contraption while I'm running, you know, to get my heart rate and different, uh, you know, the feedbacks that, oh, we get a call, or we did, oh, we did, did I, did I screw that up? Uh, call back, my, my, uh, my volume was low, give me a call here, 818-528-4516. Uh, that is the number, uh, I'm the, I'll, I'll be able to pick it up now, I was just sort of screwed up there okay so uh, getting the bun uh, and I'm noticing with my my brushes these are I kind of need to get some bigger brushes uh, I'm I need to get new brushes and uh, so we're kind of in a, a strange strange zone with uh, with what's going on here all right so I'm gonna kind of work the background a little bit here on on the program uh, on the painting but but actually it's also on the program and uh, so there you go just move some paint down and get some of the background I just kind of not sure I want all that uh, negative space uh, negative ions positive nion ions uh, I'm not sure I you know so I'm getting rid of it getting rid of it and uh, which is also another way to dance around the subject it kind of can screw up things you you know un 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 be be known to you you, you might have just ruined what you had going good uh, and because you uh, got involved in something that, uh, you know, uh, that you didn't want uh, in, in the end. But you don't know you're going to get into that position until you make the mistake and make the move and screw things up. So we're kind of uh, doing that right now, kind of making some moves. Uh, but uh, I, in the end, uh, I'm feeling okay. Maybe it's because of my, my hist historical... Um, references of, of painting uh, paintings in the past you know have done been doing it before you know that uh, maybe you say why why not uh, this this could be okay you know the the fact that uh, that I decided to do a particular move that I didn't necessarily need to do which of course painting is is sort of one of those positions where you don't really need to be doing this we don't really need to do anything we don't need to do a darn thing and uh, and yet we somehow do stuff and uh, I, I say that that's the reason why we we are here we are uh, to do something with with ourselves uh, and and to be productive uh, somehow uh, or or unproductive at times uh, but to exist my friends to exist 818-528-4516 taking your calls here Rebecca and John playing the music uh, that you hear in the background here and uh, what's that? Okay, here's our. Oh, we almost. I thought we had a call there. Almost. Almost a call, almost, but, but uh, not quite. got a little. Uh, they got shy at the they last. They got a little minute. shy. A lot of uncertainty. Too shy, shy. Too shy. Touch, touch. My oh my. You guys know that song? Nope. That's it's a. Uh, it might be. Uh, it might be from the '80s or something. I don't know uh, who, who sang it. I, I should get it, though. I should find it. It could, it could be your um, background music. Yeah, well, for when they call, they Just hang Just on up. a loop. Yeah, when they... <laughs> well, when, yeah, like on a... They call it a cart or something, where you hit a button. They Like uh, on a radio program, yeah, yeah. they will hit a certain button, and it will go it'll go back to playing the same thing, whatever yeah. it was, uh, like it's on a on a short, short loop. Yeah, I should do that. Anytime someone calls and they... They, they hang up. I'll hit that button. You might have a lot and of people goes, do it all of a sudden, though, so they can You know who it song. is? I think it's, uh, who is that person who, who sings it? It's from the 80s. Uh, it's like, uh, uh, I want to say, uh, woman. I think it's a guy who, uh, let's take this call here on Fast Food Paintings. Hello, caller. Welcome to Fast Food Paintings. May I take your order? All right. Okay, that, those, those calls suck, by the way. I just want to literally know that, uh, that uh, I'm not even going to waste any effort on that. Just, th th those calls suck. There, there's nothing, uh, I know you're kind of laughing or, and stuff, and uh, good. I'm glad you're laughing because uh, that sucked. 
But uh, but call, call call and just talk to us. That's what we're here for. You want to talk about uh, what what uh, Rebecca does, uh, which uh, I'm already confused exactly. But so, somehow <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, and puppets and paint. And and puppets. We got we got Howard Blueberry the third here, and of course we're painting her uh, Rebecca inside a lovely burger and bun. Or any questions for Master guitarist Johnny Touchdown. Johnny Touchdown is in the room here. Uh, <laughs> I think that bun needs sesame seeds. The sun, yeah, the sun we gotta put some, se you're exactly right. That's what it was missing was some sesame yeah. seeds. So let's get some sesame seeds here. Uh, nothing like a sesame seed bun. I mean, that is the, the quintessential, uh, you know, uh, operative that, uh, that really, uh, you know, sinks, seals the deal, seals the deal. Absolutely. You uh, don't know that it's a burger until the seeds are there. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like, what's this? Why'd they put bread between or over this burger? Yeah, it's, it just doesn't. <laughs> it just doesn't. You know, you know, you don't have a a, a happy experience unless no, there no. is some some uh, some seed action. Yeah, it just meets the heartache. <laughs> heartache and tears. All right, let's put a shadow here. I'm gonna put a little uh, arbitrary shadow. What's the uh, the the cryonics? Is it cryonics where they cut your head off and they put you in uh, yeah. whatever? Yeah. And that's what it sort of looks like. <laughs> it's a cryonics burger. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. If, that, if you know, if I ever have enough money and want to see the future and they decapitate me, I'll say make sure you put buns on either side. Yeah, yeah. You, you want to wake up unless they're there. You know, buns buns are are, are you know. <laughs> Buns between us uh, are it's in the future. This is the this is the way we're gonna be. Is we're gonna have because see buns protect us. The buns protect us. That they, they are a buffer from the rest of the world. Yeah. And so if by having a bun between the between you, uh, between yourself and the rest of the world, you know, you, you prevent you prevent diseases and uh, stuff like that. I'm just well, doing a little preservatives, buns are immortal. They, they definitely are. They definitely are. They, they they'll, definitely, always, you know, they'll always be there to help us out. Really. Exactly. You've seen that the, the, that McDonald's hamburger that someone like took pictures of for like five years in a yeah, row yeah. or something. Yeah. So this this goes on forever, guys. Uh, in fact, that bun is going to last longer than than us. Yeah. The only thing that's going to be there with the bun are the cockroaches. Everybody else is going to die out. Just roaches in a bun. Well, these are neat. Oh, uh, yeah, I like your USA burger. Oh, you like the USA burger? Yeah, yeah I thought of that. I was going to make a USA burger and put some mustard and mayonnaise on there. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if only there was a blue um, burger topping. I do, uh, well, it could be blueberry or something. Well, yeah. food coloring. You know, food coloring can kind of do it. Yeah. Like a Smurf USA burger. Yeah. Okay, I haven't, you know, I talked about those damn sesame seeds and I never put them in, so. Never too late. It isn't, and, and sometimes we do dance around and we do uh, get lost, confused, sidetracked. And uh, I say there's nothing wrong with being a little sidetracked once in a while. And uh, don't think that uh, it's the end of the world that you, you just didn't get it all done like you're supposed to or like you think you're supposed to or, or the white, like uh, like uh, the way that a peanut butter and jelly uh, melts in your mouth. What? <laughs> Okay, those sesame seeds don't look too good. My brush here is it's done. I got to get a new brush. I have a I have one in the other room. Let me get it. All right, John, time for a rock and solo while he doesn't get it. All right, yeah, I'll be right back in a second here, guys. You're watching Fast Food Paintings, Paintings of Fast Food at Fast Food Prices. Oh, I'm just going to sneak by here. brush was uh, kind of falling apart as oh, that was a sweet as, rock out. as as I I am falling apart uh, Brad Zork asked me what am I painting and uh, that's a great question we are painting a Becca burger. The, the the Becca burger the, uh, you've heard of Boca burgers yeah, it looks like yeah a Becca it's burger. a Becca burger uh, 
All right, so uh, we got the, I'm going to kind of re, re-attack. So we kind of have most of the ingredients here. Uh, and basically we do. I, I kind of left Howard Blueberry out because it just didn't seem like he was going to fit into the conversation, even though he's right there. How are you doing, Howard? I hurt my oh, I'm sorry. No, I did hurt your feelings, didn't I? I'm sorry, Howard. Sorry about that. He said he's out then. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, we're, uh, we're just going to keep plugging it. away here, guys. Keep plugging away if we can. I know it's hard to, it's hard to keep moving, uh, as, uh, as always, uh, but we will do just that. Oh, this, uh, okay, sesame seeds, but then the polka dots. Get some polka dots here, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. All right. And then let's, let's get, you know, it's all detail now. It's all this little detail stuff. Sing uh, Christmas Christmas songs or something like that. I don't know. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. All right, which one should we do? Uh, how about it's a merry merry Christmas? Do 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 do. Oh, what fun is a dolly molly Christmas for you? Yes. I, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah. I, I do not know. I think this is how it goes. Yeah, I, I think that is how it goes. This this area here, yeah. that's the shadow, and uh, kind of give it. Uh, it's just sort of a shadow deal. I put it on a lot of my burgers. It just seems to make uh, uh, sense. It gives that little um oomph. Correct. It's uh, it's that little extra. It's kind of like the secret sauce, if you will. It's like it, except for the secret sauce really isn't a secret. We all know it's Thousand Island. I know, I know, and I, you know, I'm not a big fan of that when they, they, they you know, lie to you like that, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, screw you, it's just Thousand Island. Yeah, you think but I'm you know, an idiot? I, I tell you what, I, I have a, a gripe with all those salad dressing things, you know, that they have, uh, like a whole aisle of salad dressing. I mean, come on. Yeah, what's the deal Come on, that? guys, just put some, make your own damn salad dressing, it's no big deal. Uh, you know, I'm just a big, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a natural on that, uh, or, or simpleton, and, and, and just olive oil and, and uh, vinegar is, is, is good for me. Got to go back to the basics. But then again, you know, it is kind of fun to have some, you know, a little bit extra zest in our, uh, in our life, and I guess salad dressing is. You know, what, uh, speaking of salad dressing is, have you seen those commercials of the, uh, uh, where, where the kids, uh, the, the, the food truck comes up and it's uh, it's the guy serving vegetables with... Uh, oh, with the uh, Hidden Valley? Yeah, Hidden, Hidden Valley. Valley. Oh, man, that is creepy. That is, <laughs> Anytime some guy just shows up in a truck and is yeah. trying to give something to children, especially yeah. if it's creamy, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't Sp sit right. Speaking, <laughs> of, speaking of the food truck, the fast food painting food truck will be uh, 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 up and running this Sunday on Mulholland Drive, guys. Uh, Brando likes the painting already. Brando's uh, liking it. All right. Uh, if you're if you're in, yeah, the fast food painting food truck this Sunday. Food truck, yeah, the fast food painting food truck will be selling paintings of fast food at fast food prices on Mulholland Drive. Mulholland Drive. Uh, they're here in Los Angeles. Uh, and uh, the times and the exact location will get to you uh, at some point. Okay, well, uh, we're just kind of thumbing our nose uh, at, at life and, and our existence uh, with, with painting, uh, the painting process, and kind of, well, persevering, guys, persevering. And if you'd like to persevere, give us a call, 818-528-4516, that's the number, and uh, we'll, 
will be happy to uh, engage in conversation about uh, uh, hanging in there and, and making uh, a, uh, a me making a mess, making a stink of things, uh, because why not? Why not give it a shot? Why not screw up and, and screw things up? Because after all, well, there is no after all. Just just keep on doing it. You'll never know until you try. Exactly. There's all you can you can you know you can uh, add whatever you want to uh, to the, to whatever whatever we just said, and ultimately you know it's right. You know it's a good thing. Uh, anyway, so uh, and we're if just you call gonna, in, we'll sing with you too if you want. Yeah, if you want to sing with with Rebecca and John, uh, coming all the way from lovely Orlando. Now, I've always, I've never been to Orlando, but is, is that like a, it seems like, I get the feeling like that's just a company town, you know, it's just, uh, just the gigantic Disneyland amusement park, and I'm sure I'm wrong. No, that's kind of right. Is it? Is <laughs> we're, we're, we're from the Philadelphia area. Oh, okay. And um, when we went down there, it's a lot of uh, big companies. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's take this call here on Fast Food Paintings. Hello, caller, you're on Fast Food Paintings. May I take your order? Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle, jingle all, all the way. way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, you hung up. Come on, man. Well, thank you for that thank, lovely song. That was fun. That Should was we nice. continue on with that? Yeah. All right, let's here we go. Who else wants to call in and we'll sing this? I'm, I'm getting in the Christmas spirit here. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to run on one horse open sleigh! Hey! Okay. That was fun. That was fun. It is fun. It's fun It's fun to just kind of, you know... Uh, well, I, I'll tell you what. It's For me... You know, painting is 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 can is usually an introverted operation. It's a very serious, engaging kind of discovery of who you are and what you're all about, and who you want to project who you are by what you make and show. So you want to be your very best. You want to be perfect and precise. But I'll tell you what, that's you can take that for so long, and at some point you say, "Screw this. Let's have some fun." Let's have some fun and get some paint down and get creative that way with the experimentation and with the failure people. And 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 yes, there's time uh, and plenty of time to just focus on on your perfection, focus on your on the focus factor of 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 of, of, of presenting yourself to be uh, the most uh, important person on the world uh, because of how great you are, because of how how much effort and time you put into what you make. Yes, that's fine and good and dandy, but there's the other side of the coin, the freedom, the freedom of let loose, of the failure, of the experimentation, and of having some fun, guys, and that's what we do here every day, Monday through Friday, 11 to 12 noon, Pacific Standard Time. That's right. Fast food training with fast food, fast food prices. That's right. <laughs> that's right, Rebecca. And we have a guest here. We have two guests coming in all the way from lovely Orlando, Florida. Okay, so uh, I kind of felt like my big brush was uh, not getting enough use. So we're bringing it back and kind of re reclassifying what we got going on here. Restructuring, re in revigorating, re uh, 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 rejuvenating. rejuvenating, getting those juices flowing. Uh, getting some vinegar in it, revigorating, revigorating. Yeah, that's the word I was thinking of. No, that's okay. I screwed that move there. That was a bad move. Uh, now it's just getting muddy. It's getting muddy, and I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm feeling like, oh no. Okay, let's try that shadow again. Then let's try the shadow again. Maybe we don't put a shadow. You know, maybe the shadow is just a little too much. You know, these are decisions. These are chances. Of, chance discovery. It's a chance discovery uh, by by the very now. Now a face. Let me let me redo the face here, uh, and and let me start over because again I got too too uh, uptight with the face. So let's kind of get a little closer here. But again, so what? So what if you did? You know what I mean? So what if we got too close to the face, and and, and you know in terms of too too detailed, too too uh, too uptight at times. But uh, that's all right. If it is, if it becomes such, that's that's entirely you know okay at the same time. You know it's it's not uh, you know 
whatever whatever floats your boat and and and, if, and whatever sinks your boat is also valuable uh, at the same time it's also a, uh, a valuable lesson as we we, we feel uh, here uh, want to uh, encourage your uh, process uh, of elimination and that is by by hunkering down and going for it my friends okay let's get a little bit of see how I found a way to get out of that I was totally swimming in lost passages uh, of, 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 of nonsense but I got out of there I got out of there and we hung in there because we persevered guys you got to persevere okay I'm gonna get some highlights uh, on your hair. Do you, do you do any highlights with your hair uh, or, or just, just uh, that's just the way it is? That's just the way it is. Just the way it is. <laughs> a little discoloration there, a little discoloration here. Okay, yeah. Did you ever, by, now that we're on onto your hair, do you ever, uh, have you ever uh, like dyed your hair blonde or anything like that? Yeah, I've had it every Did, color of the rainbow. Is that right? Did it? Yeah. Now I always heard it was kind of screws things up, right, for a while. Like yeah, it did. My hair started breaking off in chunks. It was disgusting. Yeah, was so like then you monster. probably won't do it was that like a again. Dog really. with mange. <laughs> yeah. Was that that was in your rebellious period, right? I was like, Rrr, right, dye right. my hair. Was that like your punk rock stage or something? I guess. <laughs> I, I was just rebelling against good sense. <laughs> Yeah, well, look, uh, I, I'm sure. Uh, that was good. Sir. Well, it sounds like you've uh, landed, uh, you know, landed okay uh, as, with a, uh, you know, this, uh, with a pretty heavy duty, uh, you know, like a, a real full time kind of. I mean, that's like a real. Uh, uh, how do you say a job or, or you know, like a, it's like a meaty kind of profession, it's right? A meaty. And you're not like, uh, you know, bussing tables or something. You know what I mean? No. Not yet, unless something goes. That wrong. was Plan B. That, yeah, that's Plan B. Plan B, yeah. <laughs> well, you, if this whole thing doesn't work out, it's back to busting tables. <laughs> well, uh, I don't see how that. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, I'll, I tell you, I, I, you know, sometimes though, you know, it's good. Like I find myself, uh, the only reason why I keep making art and keep painting is, is that I, that's all I got. You know, in terms of, I don't have any other abilities, and so because of that, I just keep going. And, and you keep hacking away so you know sometimes it's good to only have that one possibility you know you know because if you have too many options then you get you, you feel like you're too talented and then you feel like oh well okay and particularly as an artist you feel like well geez there's no money coming in this month you know I'm like yeah this is scary I better get a job because I, I am kind of good at you know uh, washing dishes you know I'm actually very good at that actually I'm not but let's just say <laughs> I thought maybe, you know, so you, you, one kind of gravitates to that idea of, all right, uh, maybe, you know, being practical. Indeed. And uh, so that's uh, that's sort of an endless uh, issue uh, that we all deal with. Fortunately, you have all the creativity. Um, how is your arm? You had that crash when you were on the bike. I thought that was such a neat project. Uh, yeah, well, uh, that, that turned out to be not a big deal, uh, but it was it was hurting right away when I when I fell. And I'm like, oh no, I, uh, did I break something? Or, or uh, I, right away I knew I didn't break anything, but I felt such a bad pain. I'm like, oh, this is gonna hurt for days, and I'm gonna hate, you know, my life because of that. <laughs> and, uh, but the next day it was fine. So I, I don't know. I, I got lucky there. Um, Have the you done it again? I haven't. Uh, no, I haven't gone back out to, to paint and bicycle lately since then. No. But I, I will, I will, because I love doing that. Because that's, I, I actually love bicycling, and I, never, I don't, you know, go out enough to bicycle, and it's, you know, it's a, it's a good thing to do, and you know, I like the exercise. I like, I like sports and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, so you know, yeah, yeah, I want to uh, go back to, to doing some more of that, and I just, there's just, I guess, there's just so many things to do, uh, like in terms of, you know, like right now, painting a lot of hamburgers. Of different things all right last few minutes here guys uh, here uh, you want to call us you can 818-528-4516 uh, you're uh, watching fast food paintings paintings of fast food at fast food prices we're here every day Monday through Friday 11 to 12 noon Pacific Standard Time yeah Brando call in says uh, Brad Zork Brando call in we're basically uh, you know kind of Maybe done, kind of not. It's uh, one of these things 
you just uh, sometimes you know in, in a painting you can have time constraints and uh, that can be a blessing in a sense because it kind of prevents you from spending all this time trying to get anything to look right and then you know because when you get into that position of, of, of perfecting something it, it kind of gets over you know that overwork factor yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how, do you guys deal with that in in, uh, in in your in your profession I mean does there ever talk about that do people I don't know I mean because I know it's a very common experience uh, for artists to you know that that saying overwork overwork stuff you know oh I you overworked it oh yeah man you overworked it well, I, think, I think it's different when, when there's something like art where it's this creativity process where there's not going to be any specific end except for when you choose there to be one. Let's take this call here. Uh, hello, caller. Welcome to Fast Food Paintings. Paintings of Fast Food at Fast Food Prices. No good. W what's going on? I uh, just woke up. All right. All right. Brando's, uh, I can tell that's you. Uh, looks <laughs> like uh, I see you on your webcam. Well, great! You just yep. woke up. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's great. Uh, glad that you uh, made made uh, fast food paintings a part of your day, your morning, uh, and uh, I'll let you go back to sleep or, or whatever. No way, right, man. All right. No, I got I got I got work to do, man. Oh, okay, you got work to do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Have a good day. Sm smoke Thanks a for starting your day off right. Smoke a bowl. Okay, smoke a bowl here and get going. Yeah, wake, wake and bake, my friend. More like a bowl of cereal, man. All right. <laughs> Tricks. Whatever, whatever, whatever works for you. All right, uh, last few minutes of the program, guys, and uh, let's see if I can make any sense of what we got going on here. Again, uh, I went back to that small brush, and I feel, I feel bad. You know, I feel, I feel like a failure. I feel like a loser. So by doing that, I, uh, I'm going to go back to the big brush if I can, and and uh, and maybe uh, I can save this, uh, maybe, <laughs> or or not. And even if you don't save it, it's still, it's still a, some sort of historical uh, mess of sorts uh, that either makes uh, no sense at all, or or there's like some sort of resemblance and all that kind of good stuff, which is uh, not a not a, you know, you, you got to give it a shot. We and and that's what we're doing, giving it a shot. And uh, boom, boom, there's a shot right there. There's a shot. And I'm gonna go ahead and fix the eyes. Go back to the eyes. All right, and then we'll put some eyeballs. All right, and uh, let's get a smaller brush here. Last few minutes, guys. Here we're gonna have to uh, leave pretty quickly. We have, uh, I have the pest control guy coming uh, later on. <laughs> True, <laughs> the pest control guy's coming. What, what's your plan on on the uh, for the rest of this time here in LA? Do, do you have any other uh, spots you're going to besides uh, here at Fast Food Paintings? Uh, we're gonna check out some shopping. We're gonna go see some horrible shows. And... Oh really? <laughs> like what kind of shows? Like uh, rock gonna... and roll shows or something? Oh no, I wish. No. Oh, we're gonna see um, Upright Citizen for good. We're gonna go to oh, the nice. theater tonight. Um, we're gonna see Dr. Phil and some sitcom I've never heard of. Dr. Phil? Yeah. <laughs> what? It's free. <laughs> oh, nice. So that's cool. Yeah, because they you, you get inundated like you walk down uh, Hollywood Boulevard and people gave you passes and stuff. Or did you do that? Or did you? How did you get those? I uh, just found them online. Yeah. Okay. Found them online. But sometimes if you walk down the street, these people will uh, hand out passes to see yeah, movies yeah. and stuff. And, and I I did that actually as a job for a little while, so oh, I kind of yeah. yeah I know some of that how that works. And did you do it like in the costumes and everything? Or? No 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 I didn't do I just 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 showed up as is you know no they, I don't think anyone really hands out passes and I guess they could or they do huh, don't they? I know there are a lot standing around for the pictures and everything. I don't know if they ever combined. Yeah those that's a whole uh, they were trying to close that down. Oh. And uh, get rid of those people. Why? Well because they were. They're they're like uh, being kind of hounding, you know, the the, uh, the 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 tourists, and then because of that, they uh, uh, you know were you know the tourists were feeling like they were being attacked and you know gotcha. for money, you know, pay, you know, it's a scam, you know, it's a weird thing. Uh, you know, I think we're kind of oh, let me get uh, like your uh, the the uh, the necklace. Or whatever you call those things. A collar? Yeah, it's yeah. like a collar. Yeah. I 
don't know how that's going to look, but I'll just kind of put a little circle thing in there. Well, no, until you try. Exactly. Make make a mistake of some sort. It's like a dog collar almost, huh? It is, too. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Or it could be, huh? It could be. <laughs> or they call that a choker, isn't it? Yeah, either way. Sounds awful though, a choker. Either way, yeah. I don't like that. Oh, well, that's a beautiful choker. All right, we're uh, uh, basically done here, I, I think. I'm going to see if I can add a little more highlight somewhere, I guess. I don't know where. But uh, basically, guys, uh, we uh, have uh, done another painting. Yeah, see, I'm kind of moving back and forth what I, you know, what I think needs to be done. And, and, and boy, I uh, I feel like I kind of failed a little bit here, Rebecca. Uh, some highlights on the hair. Let's get some more of those on there. And uh, just kind of blob it on there. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, doom, doom, doom. And doom, doom, doom. A little more heavier on the hair. Boom, boom, boom. Doom, doom, doom. Give it some little more love on the hair. Doom, doom, doom. That was a little too much, but that's all right. Boom, boom, boom. Doom, doom, doom. You don't have too much love in the hair. Go doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. You got little stragglies. Uh, that little gives stragglies. me little stragglies there. And uh, I think uh, we're going to call it a day here on fast food paintings. Paintings of fast food, guys, at fast food paintings, uh, at fast food prices. Okay. Uh, and uh, thank you, Rebecca and John, for being here, coming all the way from Orlando, Florida. And they popped in here at Fast Food Paintings, Paintings of Fast Food at Fast Food Prices. And uh, thanks again for being here, guys. We'll see you tomorrow on Fast Food Paintings. Ah, uh, yeah, that's how we do it here. It's kind of, uh, because there's no one else, uh...